Let's talk about Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. It's a lot of things going on with this team right now. They're not in good situation. And right now, they can be an early playoff exit if they continue to not make adjustments and run things the way that they are being ran right now. Jalen Hurts has not been that star quarterback this season that he was last season for the Philadelphia Eagles. And we all know why. It's not because... You go out there and say, well, Jalen Hurts fell off. He's not the same quarterback he was last season. He was He's getting exposed. He's not talented. He's one of the most talented quarterbacks in the game, but he's a unique quarterback. Shane Steichen knew how to use him. It was better pass concepts with him last season than you have right now with Coach Johnson. Every time you see Coach Johnson draw up a play, when it's a third and five, a third and three, it's a quarterback draw over and over again. And Jalen Hurts is one of the bigger quarterbacks in the NFL. He can take a hit, but he can't take this repeatedly over and over again. And I said this a couple weeks ago when they went against the Buffalo Bills. They better be lucky that the Bills cannot st- stop that quarterback draw late in the game because Coach Johnson passing per- concepts are not good enough to get this team over the hump. They're running Jalen Hurst too much. And Jalen Hurst is turning the football over at a high clip. Last season, he had 22 passing touchdowns to six interceptions. This season, 19 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. And this team got exposed by the New York Jets. Jalen Hurst is not a quarterback that is meant to go out there and throw the ball more than 30 to 35 times a game. He's not built that way. That's not what his game is predicated on. It's predicated on the RPO system, run the football with him, quarterback power, and get the run game going around him. And then when the team sneak up and they put those safeties up, he could throw the ball deep down the field to Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. And that's easier said than done from a schematic standpoint. So I do feel bad for Coach Johnson in that situation. But he has to go out here and he has to be a better offense coordinator for this team for sure. Because the players that you have on the offensive line and the guys that you have in that wide receiving room, it's inexcusable to go out there against the Dallas Cowboys and get little to no production from your offense. And Jalen Hurst also has to be better as well when it comes to just protecting the football and putting this team in the best situation. The one thing that concerns me with the Philadelphia Eagles, they're not a team that's meant to play from behind. And we've seen that back-to-back Games this season against the Buffalo Bills, against the Kansas City Chiefs, they start off slow and then they come back in the second half and they make major adjustments. It's because Jalen Hurst is being Superman. But when you go against teams like the Dallas Cowboys, they have that firepower to go out there and they can continue to put up points on your defense, you're going to be in a bad situation. Now, let's talk about their defense. They haven't been good this season. The secondary has been getting cooked this season. They're 27th in pass defense. They're 6th in rushing defense. That's very good. I'm talking about their rushing defense in just a second. But their 21st in total defense, their passing defense is not good enough to get them over the hump. Jonathan Gannon did an amazing job last season with this team at the defensive coordinator spot. But Darius Slay has not been the same corner. James Bradbury is not the same corner. They do not have the same intensity that they had last season. And you look at their front seven. It's very good, but their linebackers are hurt and they're banged up. The defensive line is very good with Fletcher Cox, who's going to continue to make plays until he retires from this team. You have Jalen Carter, who's also phenomenal as well. You have Jordan Davis. You have a very good pass rush with this team, but it's not the same as it was last season. This team is now 21st in total defense. Last season, they were the best defense in the NFL, statistically. They had guys that were going out there making phenomenal plays in Hassan ready to get into the quarterback. Guys on the back end were covering like it was no tomorrow. Instead, now guys are getting exposed on the back end by double moves and by quick outs. They can't guard those things because they're not prepared for it from the coaching. And Hassan Reddick is also having a very good season as well. 11 sacks on the season and one forced fumble. And Brandon Graham has three sacks on the season. He's stopping the run. He's getting things going. And they have a good rotation at the defensive tackle spot as well. They have good things going on with this team when players are making plays. They just need the coaches to step up with this team. Hopefully bringing in Shaq Leonard will help them out at the linebacking spot, but I will say this to any Philadelphia Eagles fan. Do not expect for him to come out and for him to be that Shaq Leonard he was a couple years ago when he was an all-pro for the Indianapolis Colts. He's not that same guy anymore. The back injuries have taken away that player. He's still a very solid player at times when it comes to reading and reacting and stopping the run. But if you want him to cover guys in space, he's not that linebacker anymore. And he's not going to go out there and cause those turnovers like how he did a couple years ago. He doesn't have that same juice. 
but he's still a very good linebacker, and any linebacking help would definitely help out this team right now because they're dealing with so many injuries. But in my opinion right now, if Nick Sirianni can't get this thing together, this team is going to be an early playoff exit for sure. There was no reason to why this team just had the first seed and now they have the fifth seed. That's a bad look. And for them to go lose to the Dallas Cowboys the way they did, that's a horrible look as well. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about the Philadelphia Eagles and can they turn things around? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.